Well, St. John Ambulance is a volunteer organization usually associated with first aid training, but it offers many other programs including emergency response, services for youth and the therapy dog program. Veronica Cooper has more on that. Come on. Peter Beliveau and his dog Mia arrive at the Royal Jubilee Hospital. Peter spent 38 years as an emergency physician, then reduced his shifts to prepare for retirement. As I reduced them, I, I realized that I wasn't missing the medicine, but what I was missing is the, the social aspect of it. Hey, Mia, there we go. The uh, communicating with staff, colleagues, and also the patients. Oh, you like to say hello? And so, early in 2015, he approached yeah, St. John Ambulance, yeah. which offers a training program yeah, for therapy dog volunteers. She's a golden doodle. Golden doodle. Seven years old. Not all dogs make it through the training, but Mia, who's now seven, made the cut. Until she was about four, she was a real puppy, and uh, now she's a much more mature dog and uh, loves to do what she's doing. Let's go. Let's say hello. Dogs must be well-behaved, obedient on a leash, and love meeting people. My name is Peter, and this is Mia. There are around 45 therapy dog teams visiting various facilities through the St. John Ambulance Victoria program. This can be such a traumatic experience for people. People that have pets miss them. It's a huge thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it brings such like a great distraction so that they're not so focused on their illness or what's going on with them, but they can put their energy into the dog and into Peter. And She's a therapy dog. She is. Aren't you? Hey, Mia. Yeah. She's done me good anyway. <laughs> and while Mia is a conversation starter, Peter plays an important role too. He's really just such a lovely, caring man. And you can say all sorts of things to Peter that you wouldn't say to your doctor or mm. to care staff. We have yeah. to make them get up and go for a walk. And sometimes they're tired and they don't want to. But um, with Peter and Mia, they can just relax and not have any pressure. I still get the, the pleasure out of helping people and meeting people. And when I take the scarf out, she knows that she's going to work. So it's really neat. Learn more about the Therapy Dog Program at the Links tab on our website. Vital People is brought to you in part by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.